Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator at Franklin's Garage. This is the owner, Andrew, and well, unfortunately the last time you guys saw this it was white, but because I had to pick some colors and stuff like that, um, well, I had, to I had to paint the car, and normally I wash it before we get going on it, but this time I actually had to wash it and then paint it, so right now what we're gonna do the color combination what we're gonna go on it this one is blue and chrome uh, bear with me here because the chrome almost looks like it's this color just with a bit more of a shine uh, I know you're probably asking why are you taking it all apart it looks it looks like good well you know it probably is but with it only being 67 and stuff like that yeah no so we're gonna start by doing this Ripping off all the old parts. Take this off. I can pull the headlight off a little easier. See, I probably could repair all these parts, but just as easy for me to uh, buy it new and move on to the next. You know what I mean? All right. While well, we go and paint the parts. Get the body all done. Actually, we're gonna put you in front of that. Like I said the, in the last video, this is the Dodge Hellcat SRT Wide Body Edition. This is gonna be the color blue that we're gonna be going. It's gonna look pretty. So let's get working on it. And once again, I have all my parts in here. Alright, how do these look blue? Eh. Yeah, it'll work. It will manage. Oh. Alright, we're going to do it this way this time. Luckily, or thankfully I should say, I don't have 8 clip B's to do, I only got 4 clip A's, so... <coughs> There's actually going to be 5 in here, I believe. I think so. I could be wrong, but you never know. Yeah, there's five of them in here. Oh, we're gonna back this up here a minute. the body parts this time too so hey that actually works cool blue it is all right let's see what else we got the block let's see what do the heads look like Probably a little easier to actually see the color. So what we'll do, we'll do the insides of the heads blue. Because those push rods, whew, they're a pain at times to put in. Oh yeah, even the chambers too. The piston hits, they're blue, cool. And we gotta do this. does. That's too much blue for the motor. You know what? I'm going to do the block block. do these 
blue. Nah, I gotta do that in chrome. Or dark gray, we could say. Here's the front cross member for it. This has got to be blue to match the body. Alright, now we might back on sequence again. Okay, just a bit of a darker colored chrome. I did that that way then. It looks a little bit different. It looks almost like the color on the car, like the factory color. Uh, so that's why I had to make it a little bit different. But red and gold and blue and silver, nice looking colors together. And this time I remembered to buy the transmission. I'm pretty sure I have everything this time around. Am I missing something here? Um, what color are you going to be? Nah, I don't want that. We're going to go chrome. See, I'm deciding on what colors go where as we go along here. So, bear with me, folks. Yeah, I think we're going to do that this color. And this car has sway bar A with the um, different style. It's got lower suspension arms instead of the bottom suspension arms. Not entirely sure what the difference is, but well, yeah. I don't think we're gonna be doing that on any of those colors. So I mean, kind of looks all right. That's a little bit too, too bright, but this one right here, I think it'll do just fine. Normally I try to match the valve covers and the oil pan the same. Just, it just gives a nicer, nicer look to it, we'll say. Now here is a time consuming process, because it's got the cross member rear wheel drive so it's going to take a minute to do all these parts and I try to always do these arms the same color as the body same color as what this is, the cross members are makes it, makes it stand out a bit different like I said that that's solely based upon personal preference do it whichever way you guys want, but it's just how I like to do it. Alright, now we're on the other arms. got a bit of a shine to it. Able to see a reflection, good reflection, so. Do these blue, 
since the spring and the control arm are both going to be calm, so give it a little bit of breakout. different column there for a minute. Uh, I don't think I have very many blue parts left. Which is weird. Since I'm doing the block black, do this that color, and do the water pump this color. Perfect. That's seriously all the paints I'm able to, all the parts I'm able to paint. If you look at the butterfly, you can see how it's chromed. But we're gonna have to do this blue because it just won't look right, Skippy. left and then I gotta do the front and rear shocks and probably well the block and then probably the oil filter too maybe those are all done that's done those are done okay now it's time for us to get along with the black see that's funny look at that that's coral looks good but I did a Hellcat, the non-wide body version, a couple nights ago. Actually, I think it was last night. But the problem is, I went and took a screenshot instead of saving the video. And when I went to go back to the video, it was no longer there. So, I'm putting walking right by the block. Uh, so I had a video pop up for like three for like a minute. It was three seconds long and I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. So I ended up removing it. It was pointless anyway, it was just in the Ooh, I didn't get the last one in alignment. Instead of doing that I went straight to the depth straight to the dyno huh oh well. all right that's done let's go put this big big v8 together Got the oil filter. Oh well. Things happen. I think I gotta rebuy the piston rings. I don't think I bought the right ones. <laughs> I'll 
favorite? No. No. Okay. Uh, here, here. Because there's three different sets, and half the time, even when I'm not recording, and on camera, we'll say, I still make this mistake. I always end up natural reactions to get these ones, but it's actually these ones. So. Oops. And with this car, the motor can stay in here until I'm ready for it. I don't need it to assemble any of the parts. What I'll do is after I'm done building the motor, oh, that was fast. I'm going to assemble. What? Am I really slipping that bad tonight? Huh. I'm going to uh, assemble the shocks and put the ti wheels and tires together. This car came with Hellcat type or Hellcat A wheels. I'm putting the B's on it. Same size all the way around, but. A little bit wider tires. The car comes with 305s. I'm putting 315s on. Hopefully it'll fit the rear. It should fit the front. There's a big opening, we'll say, between the fender and the wheels. So. Alright, last one. Then we put the pan and then the clutch assembly on. Oh yeah, it's gonna look alright. I just wish that when you the valve covers they didn't go white and they actually did the color that you're looking at doing them. Make things so much more easier. Put the cam in now. Even though you don't need to do it to put the uh, push rods in. Sixteen spark plugs for this bad boy. Joys of a Hemi. Thankfully with this motor it's not individual rock arms per I mean it is but you don't have to install the individual rock arms one per cylinder or one per spark uh, push rod because it comes on a rack so I'm sure there's a correct terminology for them I just can't think of it right now so it is what to do see what I mean the rock iron shafts, that's it. Alright, let me put this on. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Let me put this ignition coils. That's another thing too that bugs me about this is the factory ones you can paint them. The upgraded ones, the performance ones, you can't paint them. I don't understand why. I guess they feel it's going to rob power or something. If I do guess anyway, I'm not sure. That's just speculation. There's the big Uber charger. Spark plug, time for you to go home. one last one I think yep
All right, put the manifold on. Let me do these. Uh, I never bought. I know what I forgot to buy. Forgot to buy the fuel rails. That's life, ain't it? Well, Mr. Few Rail, where I, oh, there you are, right there. Oh. I'm so glad that everything for this car is labeled Hellcat. There's no. Days I forget my head if it wasn't attached. Uh, I've learned don't paint those because they don't really turn out all that great. Have the auto body on. Dab right in the center. Nice well, it's supposed to be chrome water pump, but I still don't know how that worked out. <laughs> Bet you I forgot the belt tensioner. Does this car not need one? Probably does because it's a newer car. Almost all newer ones need a belt tensioner, and I believe it connects right there. Yep. Told you I forgot it, didn't I? But after this, this motor should be done. Quite blue. Blue. Alright, now we're going to do this. This is what I'm talking about. Dumb things that I do like this that take extra time. It'll have the two that I'm looking for up front, but when I go to use it again, it'll have the big one up front. Oh, it didn't. Call me a liar. assembly or disassembly and assembly.
Should be easy to take everything out this time. I'll keep zooming in there. for that. Take a look at the drive shaft. I have a new one of them. I said I could have repaired each and everything here, but nah. What's the point? I actually get more money as a, almost like a bonus as the more you spend on it. So if you repair all the parts when you go to sell it, because I already have one of these, need some motor and suspension work. Paint and body work's done, but when you go to sell it, you, it decreases the value when you use that repair table to repair all the parts. Well, this is a running, driving car before I get my hands on it. Let's hope it stays the same. I do have a question though for the viewers. Maybe somebody can answer this for me. What is the trend with tight with guys wearing tight pants? Don't they understand that's no good for their levels? I mean like they need room to breathe, man. I'm just trying to figure it out, it just makes zero sense to me. See I wear baggy pants. I can't stand tight pants at all. I just don't understand this fashion trend, fad, whatever you want to call it. I guess that's one way to cut down the sperm count so that we can't produce kids. Huh. Makes zero sense to me. I just don't get it. Along, along with many other things. Feel free to leave a comment in, uh, in the video here if anybody can figure out what's up with the tight pants. I just, like I said, I just I just don't understand it. I mean, people want to wear tight pants; it's their business, but I I just don't understand it. Girls wearing tight pants? Yes, I get that. Guys, eh, not so much.
Do 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 do. Every time it makes that sound, I think of Grand Grand Theft Auto Three. The intro song. Now I know I can't be the only one that hears that sound and doesn't think that. Ah, I forgot the rear right bushing. Right there. And before I can pull this motor out, I have to drain the oil out of it. Look at that, it's magical motor it's just sitting there in thin air. Nothing holding it. Yeah. That don't look too healthy. Alright. Now we can drop her down. Yank it out. Cool. Now I gotta go around and drain all these. Don't need OSHA or environmental agencies coming. Hey, you never drained your fluids. The reason why there's two coolant tanks on this car is one's for the motor itself and then the other one's for the supercharger. It's best of my knowledge anyway. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody want to correct me? But I believe that's what it's about. So. Alright. I can finish ripping the rest of this stuff out. Too far. Perfect. Wonder how dirty this air filter is. What the heck? There it is. I found it. Actually, it doesn't be too bad. Yeah, it's nice and clean, actually. Probably will have reused the battery. I'm going to put it on charge anyway. Holy crap, five grand. <laughs> nope, wrong one. That's not a good start. Put the rear mufflers on, two of them. Center section. And the fronts. Like I said, I always put the bushings on first. Sometimes I put the sway bar on like I'm doing right now. I, I go around the circle, so I always start back at the uh, first spot.
Now, bear with me here because I have no idea how that chromey gray is going to look. Oh yeah, it actually looks pretty good. A little bit of contrast. Actually, does kind of look like chrome this time. A bit impressed with myself, actually. And then this will be blue. That is wheel area. What? Huh? Oh, look at that. It's right here. Cool. If I ain't got one, I ain't got either of them. I didn't get the uh, carbon ceramic brakes because these ones should work to stop it. Bushing. Uh, bushing. Uh, bushing. Pushing. Sorry, Bob. Wow, silver. Who is Chanel and having a hard time spinning tonight? Should have just enough bushings. Nice.
Perfect. Alright, let's go on a shopping spurt of interior. that there's its own separate steering wheel too. Swiper. Ah, there it is. Seats don't look too good anyway. Alright. Put all this stuff in now. Put the motor in, fill everything up. this in I can breathe again. <coughs> what? 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 Oh no. Oh, 50 of these coming off the bat. There we go. This is the last thing I have to do before I can drop the motor in and send it over paint or paint shop. I need to put the body panels on and paint the car. Uh, yep. 
yeah cool all right let's look at that big big motor spin me That spring don't look like it's sitting in there right, huh? Looks like it could spring up in the moment. Get some little brake fluid on the stuff. Days I'll put this piece in the power steering pump fluid there in first, and oh, it's a little over full, but all right, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, perfect. The paint shop, we go. Interior's all been done. Oops. Oh, get out of the car. 98, 93. 93? Oh, I still have to clean the interior yet. Let's put a plate on it. Shops in Arizona, so let's put an Arizona plate on it. Uh, do I need one for the front too? Yep. Uh, nope. Let me grab the door window though. What am I missing? This is kind of important. Actually, looks a lot better on the body than what I thought it was. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Meow. I need to bring her back to the shop. You can't really do much with a drive line in it. So. Here we go again. Up, up, and away. Alright. Under the car, we. 
we go. Wow, last one. I wonder why we ain't got to add transmission for the girls. I got every other type of food in the car. Alright. Whoa, sketchy. Calm down there. Well, as far as I know, there should be a hundred right across the and a battery. Interior, I still got to clean it. I'm not too worried about it right now. Even though the battery goes back here. Alright, let's see what she does. We have 707 horsepower at 650 foot pounds of torque. That is going to conclude this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you want. And subscribe so you can get the next video that I do. And we shall see you in the next one. Hope you all have a good night. Bye.